pockets of my jeans. I'm a king. Your pussy niggas couldn't see me in your dreams. I'm a king. Top topic of all of your magazines. I'm a king. The head of the body, leader of the team. I'm a king. Remember, I can get you blocked now. What's up everyone? This is Jared and Nick from What Cheers Beer Reviews tonight. This is a big one. This we're doing this for Nick's birthday. This is Goose Island's King Henry. Whew! Yeah. I, I'm already out of breath. Uh, <laughs> this is the best beer I've ever had to date. And I could not be more excited about getting a chance to review it and have it again. Um, for those of you who don't know and are in the craft beer scene, um, this is one of the most sought after beers on the market. Um, it's been out since, uh, well, it was bottled on October 8th, 2011. Yep. Still in, it's January 30th. 13. 2013, and it's yeah. still one of the most sought after beers. Basically what this is, is an English style barley wine that was aged in the rare Bourbon County Stout barrels, which were and oh, I guess they are the twenty-three the year old, old, you know, Pappy Van Winkle twenty-three barrels. So. Yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. crazy. It's just an insane idea. It's never going to be be able to be recreated again, obviously, because those barrels were done only once for that beer. Um, and so, what you're getting here is a little bit of rare infused with twenty-three year old Pappy Van Winkle barrels. Yep. And so, it is absolutely a real, real treat. Um, so. Is there anything else to cover before we get into Listen, I'm, this? I'm speechless on this one. I just, I'm just i itching to jump in. <laughs> and I think it was said 13.4%. 13.4. Yeah. Um, and that's it. We don't know how long it's actually been aged in the barrel for. I think the brewmaster said between 6 and 12 months. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's just dive right in, guys. The appearance. Appearance. Well, it was... Pretty murky. Murky and then kind of dirty brown like dark, muddy dark brown almost like a chocolate brown mm -hmm. um, it's kind of mahogany we um, didn't really get any head out of this at all no i, I did mean, pour it like pretty slowly but i mean there wasn't going to be any head anyways right it's um, i mean since it's been aged a little bit longer now but it's such a strong beer i didn't expect too much head from it anyway yeah a lot of alcohol legs on this um obviously as you might yeah. expect for the percentage but um it just looks like a dirty dark brown obviously not black, but can't see through it at can't all. Can't see it through it. Murky, murky, murky. You know what? What's that? The, this beer tells you that it's it's a regal drinking experience. Yeah. No matter when you drink it, and it, you know I don't feel like we're being regal enough right now. No. No. I think we can take care of that. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I think we got something, don't we? <laughs> all right. Oh. Let's do this right. Oh, that's that's much that's much better. All right. Let's, yeah, let's get a smell on Goose Island's King Henry. Your Majesty, let's do this. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> this is why I I just know this is this, this is gonna be the best beer I ever had again. Oh God, it's so intoxicating. It's like everything you love about Bourbon County in a barley wine. Um. The first thing, I mean, you're getting hit with those dark chocolate-covered dark fruits. Um, the, the the bourbon is so smooth smelling, and, and you're getting the oak and the vanilla. Um, it's sweet smelling, um, w w and the alcohol in the bourbon is there, but it's w without being overpowering. It's without being like uh, too abrasive. It's just very smooth smelling. He's not gonna say anything. Man, this is nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you're getting that coconut, that vanilla, oak, so, more more bourbon. I get so much out. I mean, it's like the best <laughs> barrel aged barley wine you could find. It's you get, like you said, you get the coconut, which is surprising because it's about a year old. Coconut usually fades pretty. Oh yeah, it's more than a year old. Yeah, year and a few months. Um, you get vanilla, you get the bourbon, you get. Oh man. Dried fruit, raisins. My favorite thing about this though, which is what makes it unique, is. Because it was aged in rare barrels, uh -huh. you totally get Bourbon County out of this. You get so much more Bourbon County than you'd expect. Unbelievable. So much chocolate, um, that dark chocolate, like I said. Dark tro chocolate. A little bit of kind of like coffee notes are coming from the malt, but I mean, it's dried fruit, which is what I liked about Bourbon County too, is you get so much dried fruit out of yeah, it. Yeah, yep. And it, it's just one of those beers that literally blows you away right from the, right from the aroma alone. It's the, one of the most complex smelling beers probably ever 
and for me it is the most complex beer I've ever had. I don't had. think I need to taste this. I'm just happy with smelling it. You could literally smell this for hours, but we're not going to do that. We're going to let you guys see us taste this beer. Maybe you're not going to. I would gladly smell this for hours. Okay, Jared. Cheers. <laughs> Your Majesty. King Henry. Cheers, guys. Very scary. I'm cautious. I don't want to sip it yet. I want to savor it. Yup. Yup. <laughs> it's the best beer I've ever had. Hands down. Hands down. This blows everything away. Everything. There's no contest. It's so fucking good. Um, we have to do a beer review. So, um, I like that the first thing I noticed about this is it's really sweet. Um, wow. You definitely have to like sweet sweeter barrel aged beers it's sweeter than bourbon county um but there's so much bourbon county in it um you're getting that cho everything in the aroma is in the flavor the chocolate the vanilla the oak the bourbon the coconut um the dark chocolate covered fruits all that is there and um you get kind of a nice warming going down the back of the throat um into the chest it's like you feel that warming uh it's it's extremely drinkable for 13.4 percent it's like coats your mouth it's like silky smooth i don't want to take another sip maybe you can give some input into this i'm 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 speechless on this one this is like the nectar of the gods i mean i didn't think such a thing existed on this planet it is um <coughs> pretty damn good it it tastes like a barrel aged barley wine, you get the coconut, you get vanilla. Like we said before, you get dried fruit, you get raisins, you get figs, you get mm -hmm. plums. Um, then, you, like we already said, I mean, you get that bourbon county to come through, you get lots of rich chocolate. It reminds me, the combination of the two reminds me of like raisin nets, like chocolate covered raisins. Yeah. All the way. And it is phenomenal. I mean, you um, just, like, like you just said, and he had the exact same reaction I did when I first had it. You never thought that a beer could taste this good. You beer? Know. I didn't think anything tasted this good. It's so true. I'm blown away. It's just beyond any expectation you have about this beer or anything you've heard about this beer, it's going to blow it out of the water when you actually have it. You just don't understand until you, until you try it. And that's exactly how I felt when I tried it over the last summer. And people were saying on Beer Advocate that this was falling off and it had been better. I, I don't think it, it could be any better than when I had it the first time. And it tastes exactly just as good. Um, good. That means I don't have to open my bottle anytime soon. <clears throat> I'm savoring right? that. That thing's going yeah. like in a safe, and I'm not letting anyone touch yep. that thing. Oh my this beer has not gone downhill, guys. This beer is just as good as when I had it last summer. Um, let's see what else we can pull out of this. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just take a little break? We'll come back after we sip on it for a while. Let it really warm up. It's kind of per it's good temperature right now. It's a little bit chilled. But... Uh, We'll come back to you with our rating. Uh, I think you know where we're going with this one. But uh, we're going to enjoy this, and we'll be back pour. in a few minutes, guys. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys. We are back with King Henry, and let me tell you, it is not uh, disappointing in any way, shape, or form. We, uh, I can't get well, enough of this. We've been Man. taking our time with it. I, I have hardly had any. I just can't bring myself to sip it very much at all. It just smells and tastes so damn good. I don't want it to disappear. Um, so as far as, are you getting, now that it's kind of room temp, what are you getting any different um, from originally when we first poured it? Um, well, you know, it, it, man, you get so much from this beer. It's always Yeah, it's, it's so complex though, I mean, honestly. you get toffee, kind of biscuity notes to it, minimal, mm -hmm. but I mean, you get that kind of caramel, like you said. Caramel. I'm getting a lot more caramel, yeah. kind of brown sugar notes yep. to it. But holy crap. This mm. is unbelievable. It's a really creamy, like, f on the fuller side of the mouthfeel. For the mouthfeel. Um, again, 13.4%. This thing is so smooth. And it's rich and so complex. It's sweet. Yeah. Without being cloyingly sweet. Right. It's just right. Um you know, and you could, you could, I mean, this is just perfect to sip for a couple hours. My favorite thing about this beer is that, I mean, it's a bourbon barrel aged barley wine, mm -hmm. through and through. You get so much of that. 
but because it was aged in rare barrels as well, you get stout notes in this. And so it's much. awesome, which you're not going to get in other bourbon barrel wines or bourbon barrel beers, specifically barley wines, yeah. because this is crazy. It's a one-time thing. It's like so it's so unique because of the fact that it was aged in, in bourbon barrel uh, stout. And that, and that stout is it's not stout because they didn't add stout to it. It's just a touch of it. Just and the residual from the barrel. So much to it. Mm -hmm. That's and crazy. Of, and of course, because rare bourbon county was so sought after and so highly rated, you just knew that that little bit of infusion into this beer from the barrel is going to make it so oh. special. One thing I want to note that I didn't really, I didn't mention before because I was too busy smelling the damn beer, um, is that I do get a bit of alcohol heat on the aroma. Yeah, I mean, it's thirteen point four, so it's to be expected. But you do get a bit of it on the palate. Not as much. You get a little bit of warming, but I get quite a bit of it coming through on the on the nose. So now a little bit of carbonation, just to kind perfect. of it is perfect. It's a perfect beer. You want to get into ratings? Yeah, we can't say any more about this beer. So um, beer advocate, rate beer, bros, whatever, hundred hundred across the board. You know, it is one of the highest rated beers ever on mm -hmm. any of those kind of sites. Um, highly acclaimed from everyone. Um, so, you know, obviously, guys, this is a no-brainer. This is the best beer I've ever had still. I still stand by that. This takes the cake for me. Mm -hmm. Long live the king. King <laughs> yeah. Henry has taken over. I am going to, in you know, in lieu of King Henry VIII, I'm going to behead Sakaba. <laughs> and Terry Adam. This right is here, it. right now, this you heard it. it. Bring out the bottles, I gotta stop them off. <laughs> but that's this, is it. No, this is number one for me. Mark it down, January 30th, 2013. <laughs> the death of, <laughs> of Firestone Walker and Hair of the Dog. <laughs> yep, but for now, this is the best beer I've ever had. It's gonna be tough to beat this, guys, yep. coming down the road. But we do have some special stuff in the cellar. Might give it a, a run for its money. Right. So, I mean, for both of us, we did, you know, we threw us a hundred ones in there, but we're gonna, us, yeah. best beer in the world. We're going to bring it back down. We're going to break this a hundred. Perfect 100 is going to be. This is number one for yeah, us. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Easily. So, you know. Please let us know if you've had this. I would love to know if you guys have it in your cellar still, if you tried it. Yeah, um, if, if you have it in your cellar, come on out to Rhode Island. <laughs> we'll, clack, we'll crack it open with you. And, and I will say one more thing. I don't think it could get any better than it is right now. I don't know if it's going to go downhill. All I know is that. I can't imagine get better. I it's can't imagine it getting better. So might not get worse just yet, but it, yeah, it not, it's definitely not going to get what, better. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this very special episode. Hey, um, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. And uh, cheers, guys. See you next time.